Happy Halloween gamers, RC Styles here welcoming you to the final football match week 15 of the 2022 season of the MFL. Today we were going up against the Insane Colts and later this evening we will roll right on in to the playoffs and at the end of the night will be the Mayhem Bowl. All right, guys, I'm going to let Grim Blitzrow, Brickhead Mulligan, and Bricks Jr. take it over from here. It's Straight Jacket Day here at Mucus Asylum Stadium here in Luniapolis, Craziana, home of the Insane Colts. The first 1,000 fans will receive a free straight jacket in a 500-volt lobotomy. Am I crazy? Or did I just see a fan throw himself off the upper deck in a garbage can with an MAD in his mouth? No, that's their mascot, Crazy Jimmy. <laughs> Quite the entertainer, isn't he? It's the final game of the regular season, and we've got a bone-breaking matchup. Here come the teams on the field now. The Tokyo Terminators take on the Insane Colts. This is Grim Blitzrow, and this is the final game of a grueling season. Now let's go to the sidelines for the pregame speech. And we are just about ready for kickoff on this, the last game of the regular season. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow with my partner Brickhead Mulligan and the mutant troll that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. Hey, Bricks, next time you shave, you ought to whack that little ingrown hair off your shoulder. Eat me. Hey, speaking of whacking, though, wow, get a lot of them cheerleaders. And uh, moving on. After a week of hype, trash talk, and lots of egg houses, it's time for kickoff. The kicker kicks the ball so hard, his leg is a registered firearm. And now you see why. It's first and ten. Hot, 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 hot. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Second down and seven. Hot. Third down and long. Hot. 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 And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Boom, that one. Let's see if they can get a rip. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. He is rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a zap attack. Devastating hit, knocks the ball loose. He can go all the way. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. and goal. It's a jailbreak and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. <laughs> and 
and it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. Second down and five. First and ten. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And he got a hold of that one. First and ten. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. Second down and long. Bricks, it's the two minute warning. You know what that means? Whiskey? Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, oh. Oh, that gets me every time. It's like a jack in the box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is going to blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. Third down and three. First and ten. Get your motor running. It's chainsaw time. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. First and ten. If you don't hear it coming, and he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's almost poetic, Grim. Like a haiku. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> oh, and they fake it! Didn't see that coming, did you, Bricks? Uh -huh. And the defense stops him cold! That play just got blown to hell. Yeah, it got blown to shit. 
They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And that mutant just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was made in China. I don't see any Chinese guys down there. You're a fucking moron. And it's first and ten. Picks up 10 on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I... And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. You know how some people go... The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Fighting for every yard. And that's a touchdown. Man, once he saw daylight, he was gone. The kickoff team didn't even know what hit him. down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And this guy is one of the best ship kickers in the league. And he just laid into that ball big time. Yeah, like exploding diarrhea. And it's first and ten. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They're moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up third and one. A great throw and a great catch, but Sam... Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. Good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. First and ten. 
and this guy is super oh he fumbled that one everyone loves being on the highlight reel leaping over a defender but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose he's at the 40 the 30 Someone better buy this guy dinner tonight because he just saved a touchdown with that tag. If you don't kill this ref with the attack ref dirty trick, you're going to lose, pal. You kind of deserve it if you're this dense criminal. First and goal here. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First down and five. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Second down and seven. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. for the extra point. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Pacow, what a kick. That's headed for the end zone. Pacow? Yeah, just throwing some stuff at the wall to see what sticks, Bricks. into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused! Second down in a very lot. was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. And that pass finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play. And that'll be second down and four. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Don't worry. If he shots you to death, maybe he can shot you back to life after. And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. But there's a bloody red head on the field. No, that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. <laughs> And it's first and ten. You know what they say, sometimes the best offense. No 
nobody can touch when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. We only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck. Which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. And it's first and ten. Looks like our wedding night. There was a big explosion. And everyone left disappointed. Everyone? You had more than two people in the room? Yeah, the guy filled in the clown. Somebody's got to make the balloon animals. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stumpsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And the defense gets the quarterback for a sack. Third down, under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Can I kill him? And that's another pick! Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the... And he punched his way out of that tack. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. <laughs> and it's first and ten. The nasty, dirty trick... <laughs> run for a first down. The Colts walk away losers today. And they're losers every day in my book. They battled hard but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I hope there weren't any orc butts involved. I kind of like orc butts, especially with some Dijon mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Not that's living. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil Ascent in the MFL. Want to thank you for being part of this entertaining season. For the teams who have made it to the playoffs, good luck. And for those that didn't, well, there's always next year. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the MicroHard Corporation. They get it right every other time. And all right, gamers, that brings us to the end of yet another video. So do me a favor. If you are watching on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow and the share button. It helps out more than you realize. Then I want you to head on over to our main page, which is found on YouTube. Over there, you can see all of our edited videos. Thumbs up the ones you like. Hit that like and subscribe button. Flicker ding dong so that way you don't miss out on more kick ass content from me and the Gamers Purgatory crew. And until the next video, I will be seeing you. Peace.
Oh shit, what up? <laughs> what? 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 What?